guys, Bill here from Hot Tub University again. And this is just a short video on how to rinse and how to deep clean your hot tub filters because you want to rinse your filters at least once a week and you want to deep clean them. I recommend once a month, get into a good routine. Um, but at least every four to six weeks you want to give your hot tub filters a good deep cleaning but once a week give them a rinse and in order to rinse them all you need is a standard garden hose so take your filter and simply point the filter at about a 45 degree angle along or point the water hose at about a 45 degree angle along the filter and rinse out any bugs or debris or dirt or anything like that. Now, when you do this, don't put your water hose at a right angle to your filter because when you spray into your filter like this, what you're doing is you're actually driving the dirt deeper into the fibers of the filter. You simply want to rinse off the surface dirt. You're not getting the dirt out. By rinsing a filter, you're not getting the dirt that's embedded in the filter fibers. So you're simply looking to rinse out any bugs, any um, small leaves, grass particles, and things of that nature. So you're just going to go along the surface of the filter. You're going to try to get between the veins of the filter but you're not going to push a huge amount of water directly into here because again what you'll do is you'll actually embed the dirt more firmly into the um, into the fiber of the filter so hold your water hose hold your filter up like this hold your water hose at about a 45 degree angle and just spray and work your way around the filter like this getting as much dirt as you possibly can out. Work your way all the way around from one side of the filter to the other. And then when you're done, that side, flip your filter around and rinse it in the opposite direction as well. So you wanna do this about once a week or so. Give your filter a good rinse like that. Give it a good shake, put it back in your tub and your filter is rinsed. So rinse your filters once a week, but guys, at least every four to six weeks, and I recommend once a month, give your filters a good deep cleaning. Now, I always recommend to people that you have two sets of filters for your hot tub. If you have a hot tub that has a single filter, you should have two filters. If you have a hot tub that has two filters, you should have four. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, I've got a bucket of water here and I'm gonna deep clean this filter, which has been in our hot tub here, for uh, yeah about four weeks now. So it's, it's due for a deep cleaning. Now, when I deep clean it, I'm going to use my, and I prefer Spa Marvel Filter Cleaner, but there are a number of brands, uh, a product like this that you put in the water, and you soak your filter overnight. After you soak it overnight, then give it a good rinsing, and most people will simply put it back in the tub. But here's the two big issues. Number one, while this filter is soaking, there's no filter in your hot tub. Guys, I've seen everything from cloths to ladies' underwear inside the plumbing of a hot tub uh, because the tub was run without a filter in it. So if you only have one filter, if you are cleaning the filter that's in your hot tub, or any time you have a filter out of your hot tub, make sure the cover is closed and latched. Don't let anything inside the tub because it can get inside the plumbing and it can cause some serious issues with your pumps. The most important reason though that I recommend that people have multiple sets of filters is because filter cleaner like this, the way it works is it works with the fabric of the filter. And what it does is it spreads, it opens up the fabrics of the filter, the threads of the fabrics. If you look at them under a microscope, they're just a bunch of millions of tiny little threads crisscrossing. And what this does is it opens that up. With the um, fabric of the filter opened up, soaked in water, the dirt can escape. Now, when you take this out of the water and you put it back in your hot tub, those fibers do not have a chance to close back up again. They will close up over time. It usually takes them five to seven days if you put it straight back in the hot tub. But if you air dry this filter, meaning if you just take it after you clean it like this and you put it on a shelf somewhere, 
then those fibers will close up much more effectively and much more quickly. So what I do and what I recommend people do is have a clean filter. When you're due to give your filter a deep cleaning, take your clean filter, put it in your hot tub, then take your dirty filter, do a deep cleaning of it, put it on the shelf and let it air dry so that when the time for your next deep cleaning comes along, you're quite simply taking that filter, putting it in and repeating the process. So in order to use this, you simply use two capfuls of filter cleaner and we'll just dump it in the water like so and we'll put the filter into the water and we'll give it a swish to make sure that the filter cleaner is mixed and to make sure it gets in around the filter very well and then we'll just let that soak overnight. Now typically every few hours during the evening I'll come out and I'll swish the filter around just to help it along a little bit but really you just need to soak it overnight. The next day rinse it off as you would do your doing your weekly rinsing rinse it off put it on a shelf somewhere let it air dry while your other filter does its job let the fibers of this filter close up properly and then when you need to do another deep cleaning simply take that filter put it in your tub and repeat the process so there it is folks the most effective way to clean your hot tub filters keep your filters clean and you'll keep your hot tub clean i'm bill this is hottubuniversity.com have a great day mm -hmm.